Hi there, thank you for clicking on another one of my tutorial videos. In this tutorial it's going to be partially about installing Mumble Server to a Ubuntu slash Linux system um, from the command line but the important part which is where I struggled to find some information before I, I ran my own server was how to actually configure the server, get it custom to how you want it to be so that you can put your own little touches and tweaks on it. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to be using a virtual machine uh, through um, VirtualBox but obviously this will work if you have a, a bare metal machine and you're SSH'd into it either or the, the, the commands are still the same um, even if you use on like a Linux desktop package it should still be the same and just run in the background um, so we're going to start off um, we're going to need super user privileges uh, so we'll take those for a start. So you should have a fairly good idea how to do that. Obviously that gives us root privileges. From there, um, we need to do apt and get install mumble hyphen server. Mumble and mumble server are two completely separate packages through uh, Linux, so don't think you can get to mumble and be done with it. The Windows mumble install does give you the option to install both at time of install but obviously this doesn't. Um, so yes we want to install it at 25 meg. Uh, it shouldn't take more than a few seconds to do. So this is probably about as far as what most tutorials will actually take you. Uh, the next one is we want to do the package reconfigure. One ball, hyphen, server. Okay, so uh, fairly straightforward this one, just a, a basic package configuration. Do we want to auto start Mumble Server on boot? Yes. Do you want to give it high priority? Um, because it's kind of VoIP, although it's VoIP in, in a very basic format, uh, it is quite sensitive to packet loss. Uh, it will lag, you will get robot voice if it isn't running as peak as it could do. Uh, if your machine handles a lot of other uh, instances, my home server for example, it, it houses Mumble, it's a file server, it's a Plex server. Um, so it, it does a fair bit, so although it has the machine's pretty decent, I want it to prioritise Mumble above anything else, so yes. Super user account, um, I will put a password in for mine. Um, again, this is different to the Windows version. On the Windows version, you just run it, and then when it runs for the first time, you go into the log and you can pull that super user one out. Uh, with the Linux variant you can actually set that super user password as you go in so we'll do that so that's set um, so that's all up and running now so we could actually go straight over to that if we wanted to the key difference which I found which I couldn't find the information from was actually configuring it once you're in there um, to do this you use the nano command so you can actually do some text editing uh, the config file is in your etc uh, mumble mumble server.ini hey hey so this is the one that you want to go to to actually get to the meat and potatoes of your server get things configured up how you want um, so for this example I'm going to go through a few of the options which I tend to set just to make sure everything's running there you've got your log files and everything oh, I generally don't tend to touch any of this um, here we go. Do, 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 do. The first one is the welcome text message. So what I'll do, just so we can see a graphical representation of where I am, I'm going to start Mumble running. Log in as a super user. Connected. Okay. Doke. Snap that to the left hand side, so we can see what's going on. Um, so welcome message it's fairly straightforward it is probably fairly important so I do point out right now that the tutorial box I have here isn't the mumble server which I'm running on here uh, the mumble server which I'm running here is my main mumble server um, so yeah you, it's the, the, the settings will be different in my terminal box but this is what they affect uh, so welcome text is literally this piece of information here uh, it supports basic kind of markup markdown so you can put it in, in bold not bold new line breaks that kind of thing uh, the next important one we want to focus on on here is port uh, obviously this is the protocol port that 
that the server uses. I personally use the default. Um, some people do, some people don't. Um, it's completely up to you. I use port forwarding anyway, so it doesn't matter. So everyone who goes to my server just uses the, the default what Mumble st starts up with. Specific IP or host name um, is one which I've found in the past that I, I do need to set. Generally, I uncomment this out and then I'll put whatever address I need to. I think the uh, address for this is like 10.0.2.15 if I'm honest. Uh, make sure you uncomment it and then edit it in there. Uh, server password, you always need to put a password in. So I generally tend to put a password in there, whatever it is. Samsung is the name of my monitor. Uh, we'll put Steve OC. Uh, maximum bandwidth. Uh, again, this is something that you can set. If you don't have an amazing internet connection and you're hosting it for a few mates, 7200 is fine. I happen to have a ridiculously good internet connection. So I actually put it up at 132. 128 is about the maximum that Mumble can cope with. Um, I do have a habit of over-provisioning though, just to make sure that the guys who use my server, if they want to, they can pu pump it up to absolute full bandwidth, pull the latency right the way down, and it'll still work absolutely fantastic. Uh, maximum number of concurrent clients allowed, so how many people do you want at any one point? I'd be very lucky if I had 100 friends, so in this case I'm going to change it down to the amount of friends that I have probably if I'm really nice to people um, going on from this one uh, the, there's probably only one more that you want to change um, and that I mean, you have full control of all the text that goes in when they use HTML log file days you know you can pull it down do you need 31 days of logs for a basic mobile server for you and your friends probably not um, the next one you want to go for, which is one a lot of people miss, is here. Register name. Uh, you can comment that out and give it a funky title. Let's just say, for example, Steve receives mobile server. This will actually change the name here. This is something that isn't picked up in pretty much any of the tutorials I've looked at. It's not in a lot of the documentation. Mumble's website isn't great for, uh, for telling you where these kind of settings are I find. Um, so that will change that for you. Um, it looks nice, it just tidies the server up that little bit and it just makes it yours. Uh, so going back to your settings, that should be everything. Everything else I tend to leave on there. Um, all you have to do now is write it out, so control and zero. Um, it's a file name to write, hit enter. That's written it out, control and X. Exits it, and then we want to service mobile hyphen server restart it. And there is a weird error message, but effectively that will restart your mobile server, um, and then your server will come back up with all the custom options that you wanted to make. Um, from here, disconnected from server. We will connect to a new server, um, for example, Steve OC's Mumble server. Do, 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 do. That's my Ubuntu Linux one. There we go, yeah. So we'll go into the super user one, uh, and then you hit connect. Connected. If it's your first time connecting, it'll ask you for the password, uh, which you set previously if, when you did the DPKG reconfigure. Um, just pop your password in and in you go. Generally what I'll do is I'll register my own self as a, a user as well. Um, and then once I'm registered you can make yourself an admin. So I'll, I'll do that anyway. Disconnected from server. So we'll connect in and mute myself. Oh, mute myself off from the server. Mute Muted. Off. Um, so all you do is right click and as I'm already registered can't re-register myself um, but there's a button around here somewhere which is register once you're registered you need to log back out disconnected from server reconnect as your super user connected go into the root of the mobile server and edit it from here you have groups admin as you can see I'm already in here but what you would do then is click yourself 
Um, if you're not already in there, just type it in, hit add, you go back up in there. Okay. Disconnected from server. Disconnect. Reconnect as your normal self. Connected. And then you have the ability to add channels. Denied invalid channel name. Okay. Hey, <laughs> we have success. You can't put characters in there though. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you create a Mumble server through a Linux slash Ubuntu command line interface and how you actually edit it with decent details um, rather than just a quick run through. Um, if you need any any pointers, please feel free to leave some comments. Um, I've probably said this in my last two videos, doing the whole tutorial thing is fairly new to me, so I'm quite happy to pick up uh, any kind of criticisms, um, whether you think I need to improve on something or not. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found it fairly informative. Um, and ultimately, I hope that it will somehow help you in running your own Mumble server. Mumble is a fantastic little program. It's very efficient. Um, and if you're into gaming and, and just want something cheap that you can talk to the friends with um, and you don't want to sign up to a website where you get a million adverts monthly just for your free Mumble server with five people on it, um, it's worth doing yourself. Even if you run it through a virtual machine, you know, if you're going to be gaming and you just want it to talk to your friends, it's well worth doing. There's, there's no reason not to in these days. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, have a have a good rest of your day.